This is Aaron Fisher, Technology Integration Facilitator for the East Bridgewater Public Schools. And this is an example of how Google Slides can be so much more than a presentation tool. You can actually use it for just about anything. And in this example, I'm going to show you how you can use it to make worksheets. So a common um, concern that I do here is that when we take our former Word files and try to convert them to Google Docs so that way they're more accessible for our, our team and we can locate them on the drive, is that not everything converts and it is hard to format inside the Google Doc and difficult to get some of our images and I completely agree with you. So the answer in my mind is let's not use Docs, let's use Slides. So Slides is in your drive, new, Go to your Google Drive, New, Google Slides, and open a blank presentation. And it will bring you to the main page of Slides. And from here, we're going to just change a few of the settings. So I'm going to take my layout and hit blank. I'm going to go to File, Page Setup. Now here where it says widescreen, I'm going to click here, and yours might say standard, but I'm going to click custom, notice it's inches, and I'm going to change it to a piece of paper, 8.5 by 11. And if you want landscape, you would just say 11 by 8.5. This is portrait, so long. And now it gives me the worksheet. Now remember, when you're on Word or Docs, um, you have a margin in there, unless you um, clear out the margin in your page settings. On this slide, this is a blank canvas, so there is no margin. So just remember that because if you go right to the corner and then you try to print, it may chop off what you're doing. So try to put in your kind of your own margin maybe in your mind. I'm going to just enter in a text box. Notice I put it in because I'm screen recording. It's getting a little bit, um, a little bit of a delay there. So I can put my text box in however I want, and then I can simply take the text from my Word file, double click into the box, and I can copy and paste it right in. What's nice about this is now if you want to put an image, an image in, let's say I put a text box, maybe I want to line my text box. If you want to line around your text box, simply click this little pencil and it will put the box in. I can alter my font. Now remember, 14 on a Word doc is large. Although it won't look large here, it will be when you print it. So because this is giving you the overview of the whole sheet, so it looks smaller here when you print, it will be the size of 14 on, say, a Word document. So just remember that. And if you want to see what I mean, you can always go into this print settings and preview, and it shows you, oops, sorry about that something else and it will show you um, what it looks like in the print preview so this gives you a, a look better view now let's say I want to put my text in here now I want to do some cute images I can insert images simply here I can search the web if you already have the images on your Word file, you can just right-click copy and then right-click paste. Let's say I want a clip art frog. Oh, misspelling. Frog. I always recommend putting the word clip art if you want something that's um, more cutesy or cartoonish. And I inserted two because I was clicking too quickly. Both cute. I can size this. And now because I'm in slides, I can put it wherever I want. There's no, the text won't be affected. There's no wrap text, none of that. If I want something in the background, maybe I want it um, in the background, I can right click on the image, order, and send to back. Now see how he's behind. Let's say I want him just kind of um, faded light in um, in the background. So I'm going to format my image and see this recolor. You can recolor your frog if you want. You can also, um, if you play with this, oh, this one won't let us reset the, uh, the uh, brightness and transparency. Oh, yes, it will. Look at that. It was just, so right now I have a shadow on him. I don't want a reflection or a shadow. But let's say I want him kind of in the background. I can do this. 
I can play with my contrast and I can make him really light. So sometimes teachers have things in the background of text. You might want something like that. And if I hit Control-Z, it will undo everything I'm doing. I can just keep hitting Control-Z and it will undo. And I can actually hit Control-Y and it will redo. So if you ever want to redo something a bunch of times or undo something a bunch of times, Control-Z to undo, Control-Y to redo. And then here's the biggest trick. See this tool right here, these scissors I have? I'm going to just go to my Windows menu. Again, if you're on a Chromebook, this will be different. But I'm going to just put in Snipping Tool. So if you don't have the Snipping Tool, just search it right here. Notice I'm going to pin it to my taskbar because you're going to want this. Mine's already pinned, but just drag it right to your task taskbar. Now let's say I like to have lined paper. So I just went and found primary paper. I'm going to take this paper. I'm going to take my snipping tool. I'm going to drag what I want. Edit, copy back to my slides, right click, paste. And that puts that in there. And I can stretch it if I want. Remember, right now I'm really close to the margin, so I may want to bring it in a little bit. And that puts this here. And what's the advantage to doing this over having it on Word? Well, now we can share it with our team. It's in the drive. I don't have to download it to open it. Everyone can work on it. Everyone can have access. And if you're afraid that something will get deleted, if you go File, Version History, See Version History, you can always restore a version. So if you hit this drop down, I can click any version and say, oh, whoops, we deleted out what we did. Let's go back to this version. Let's go back to this version. Let's go back to that version. And so nothing is ever gone, and you will see everyone's name and who has altered it. Um, so if you're nervous, don't be. You can't, you can't break it, and it's a great tool. Enjoy. And make those nice, uh, cute worksheets. I love it when I see my boys bring home personalized um, writings that have all sorts of cute stuff on it. It really does motivate them, and they enjoy it. So I hope this makes that easier for you. Thank you.